Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. everybody to another bonus show here on what would normally be the 1987 super mod but we have a bonus show for everybody we are back to all japan pro wrestling now for those of you that have been paying attention you'll see that we were a couple years into the save and all of a sudden we're back at august 2023 what is going on here well i'll be honest i was starting to get a little bit bored uh, several years into the original All Japan save, so I restarted with the latest version of the Real World Chronicles, which was the release of the August 2023 version. So, here we are back as All Japan trying to save All Japan, trying to make All Japan back relevant, and let's take a look at our spreadsheet of power and see what we've done. As you can see, they have the real champions still in there. We've gotten rid of the titles that I don't care for, such as the six-man tag title and the television title. But you'll see that Aoagi and Miyahara are still the champions. We also uh, have signed Jun Akiyama. We've gone exclusive with Yuji Nagata. Everybody on the roster right now is exclusive. We have even pried Keno away from... Uh, Noah, so we have him exclusively now. Our latest signing was Gabe Kidd. We brought him in. We brought in Timothy Thatcher. We are going to tag those two up. Uh, we just did it at the end of the last tour, which was Summer Action Series 2 uh, for the end of August. Yes, that's correct. Uh, once again, I bring in, brought in Hashimoto and Kamatani, also known as Okami. Great tag team. I enjoy them very much. Doi and Honda are in the heavyweight division. Our light heavyweight division is on fire, or junior heavyweight, however you want to pronounce it. We have brought in Tajiri, Yoshiharo Tajiri. We have brought in Ultimo Dragon. We've got Kaz Hayashi right now, Hayashi, on a also on an exclusive contract. And we have worked with what we have. We trimmed the fat and got rid of a bunch of the older wrestlers that weren't going to do any good. And we also signed a bunch of young and up-and-comers to take some lumps for us in the opening matches. I just finished building up the nine-show Super Deluxe series. And I could do an entire show on the way I book the tours. I try to make them similar to the way the real Japanese tours are. Although nowadays, there's not really a rhyme or a reason to the All Japan tours. They're kind of all over the place. So... What I like to do is, I don't like stables, right? So I don't have stables. But I will put wrestlers who they would tag with. Just the, is the way, you know, All Japan was years ago. Yes, I know they had stables then too, but not nearly as many as is commonplace now. So, wrestlers have partners that they'll pair up with 
in tag matches and stuff like that. So that's exactly what I've done here with the save. I forgot to mention I also brought in the Von Erich brothers. Yes, because they are a perfect natural fit for all Japan. So I like to take, we'll take Doi and Hayashi versus Total Eclipse, for example. So I will take the tag teams, they'll have a tag match, then they'll split off into two individual matches, potentially four total individual matches before meeting again in a tag team bout. You can see that taking place here with Akiyama and Nagata with Takeyao Amori and Masao Inu. That's exactly what's going on here. Same thing is going on with Ayagi and Mirahara and Keno and Manabu Soya. So this is what we have going on in the tour. We'll see how successful this tour is. Again, we're in our infancy here. And not much to it just yet to talk about, to get too crazy about. Of course, I've brought back the original title looks. So the World Tag Team title is back to having two separate belts. The All-Asia title, isn't that a great picture? I was able to connect with uh, uh, somebody on one of the groups that set me up with that picture. Great picture. And I really enjoy the classic version of the World Junior Heavyweight title. One of uh, my listeners here sent over this picture on a request from an old episode that I did. So obviously we have not had any major title changes yet except for the All-Asia title. I had Akiyama and Nagata take the title off of Atsushi Onida and Yoshitatsu. I am not an Onida fan by any means, and I was glad to cut him loose. Normally, I also cut, off, cut loose uh, Inu, Masao Inu, but I'm going to give him a shot this time. He is a, a pretty talented guy overall. Um, I realize he's up there in years, but I'm going to try him in the tour. We'll see how it works out. We'll see how he does. Again, I brought back Timothy Thatcher. I'm a huge fan of his. Uh, another thing I did too for this save is I spent quite a bit of time this time in properly bringing in the uh, chemistry, tag teams, and the people who are fan, uh, friends. You know, have strong friendships and stuff like that. I made sure to put all that in this one. So you can see the strong friendships here. Just some more realism, right? So I spent like a couple days and went through and did all of those. All right, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should show you. Uh, I found the trick is with your broadcaster, you know, run the shows on your own broadcaster and you're going to make more revenue than you are on running any of the other broadcast deals. I think we have three or four broadcast deals. And I'm not using any other broadcasters. So I am strictly using the ones we have deals with. I'm sorry, we're strictly using All Japan Pro Wrestling TV. And it seems to be working out pretty well. I may bring back B Banquet and run it on one of the other channels just for a little change of pace. But I'm not certain about that. B Banquet, also known as Battle Banquet, at one time was a regular television show for All Japan Rest Pro Wrestling, but it was like a once a month special that they would do. And I think back in the 90s, I think it was once a week even. Uh, but it's it's fun to play that stuff. Merchandise, I gave a lot of the wrestlers big deals, but I did not give them any merch rights, and most of them were okay with it. So we're making some money off of merchandise. We're upgrading here as quickly as possible. So that is pretty much all we have for now. Uh, don't think there's a whole lot else to show off at this point, but it is a reset. You know, you get everything up to date, August 2023. I like that All Japan had the new roster, and uh, it's cool. Uh, this, this one, this picture pack seems to be pretty poor. I don't care for a lot of the pictures, like the Von Erich pictures look horrible, but it is good to see Hayato and uh, Atsuki Ayoagi having updated photos. I'm looking forward to getting Shitaro Ishino back. He's out injured for a while here. And of course, I'm a big fan of L. Lindemann and T-Hawk. I thought they were a good tag team together. I also think they're both outstanding junior heavyweights. So we'll have some serious focus on them in the upcoming months. 
What's so much fun with doing these saves is that uh, these Japan saves, you can do the tours and you can mix things up and have some fun. I mean, you're not tied into anything. It's not like the WWF or stuff like that where you're WWE, where you have like these storylines going for three or four months. You don't have to worry about television. It's it's being taken as a sport here and it's being taken as such. It's almost like I always looked at Japanese wrestling like I would with baseball, right? There's 162 games a year, right? They're playing different teams each night, or they're, they're playing in series, but then they're playing different teams all the time, right? I think that the same way with Japanese wrestling with tours. You know, there is a whole bunch of tour dates, but for this tour, you're going to face so-and-so, you know, and, and work around the loop with uh, that person as the opponent. So that's the way I see it. All right, we're looking pretty bright here for the future. Our, our roster is old, but capable. Uh, we also have some very talented young wrestlers here that will continue to develop. Yuma Anzai is probably the biggest prospect that all Japan's had in a while. Of course, the uh, Yoyagi brothers are outstanding. Miyahara's homegrown. A lot of good stuff like that. So, All right, that's going to do it for this one, everybody. We'll be back. Uh, maybe even next episode, we'll cover the All Japan Save again. Maybe we'll actually do a show. We'll see what happens. But uh, it's fun to change things up here. I haven't decided yet here for September whether or not we are going to continue the World Wrestling Federation Save, although that seems to be what everybody wants to see. So drop a comment below. Let me know if that's what you want to see. All right, for all of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop us a message below. Let us know how you found the channel, what you think of us so far. For those of you looking for more, you can find it for just $5 a month, everybody. You can join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. You will get access to all of the shows early in YouTube ad-free. You'll get access to version 10.1 of the Super Mod, all of the spreadsheets, and so much more, everybody. Check it out today, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. And don't forget, you can check us out on social media, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Super Mod. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time.